Is watching this video really your choice? Look at you, the noble hero. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of the Purple Man. Hello, New York City! As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1964's Daredevil No. 4, which was expanded upon in 1985's Alpha Flight No. 41, 2003's Alias No. 24, and 2014's Daredevil No. 8. Most comic book metahumans have a name that describes their power. The Purple Man's moniker just describes his appearance, though. His power is far more formidable than his name would imply. He can make almost anyone do whatever he tells them to. Slowly. Go on, slowly. Although the Purple Man has fought many different heroes, he has a long association with Daredevil, dating back to his debut in a 1964 issue of The Man Without Fear. In that issue, a purple-haired man calmly walked into a bank and asked the teller to load up his suitcase with money. The employee happily complied. It was only after the Purple Man had left the bank that the teller realized what he had done and alerted the police. The Purple Man was soon seized by officers and didn't resist at all. Matt Murdock, who in costume was known as Daredevil, was appointed as his attorney. I'm here because my employer does extensive business in Hell's Kitchen, and who knows it better than two local boys who graduated from Columbia Law cum laude and summa cum laude. Uh, the summa part is politics. <laughs> Murdock and his assistant, Karen Page, visited the Purple Man in jail, whose real name was Zebediah Kilgrave. Kilgrave asserted that he had no need for a lawyer, as he was leaving jail now. The guard immediately let him out, and he left, taking Karen quite willingly along with him. Murdoch was confused about how this had happened. He seemed to be immune to Kilgrave's ability to control people, perhaps because he was blind, or perhaps because of the heightened senses which compensates for his blindness. Changing into his Daredevil outfit, Murdoch set off in pursuit of Kilgrave. Finding Daredevil resistant to his control abilities, Kilgrave commanded a crowd of people to fight Daredevil while he escaped with Karen. No one can resist me at this range, satellite or not. The Purple Man then rounded up a gang of muscle men to act as his unwitting henchmen and selected a luxurious apartment building for his headquarters. Now settled in, he meditated on Daredevil's immunity to his control and decided that it was his destiny to conquer the superhero. Later on, Daredevil found and confronted the Purple Man on the rooftop of his high-rise headquarters. The Purple Man kept Daredevil at bay by commanding Karen to stand on the ledge and threatening to send her to her doom. Kilgrave then took this opportunity to reveal how he came by his special abilities. Some months ago, Kilgrave had been an ordinary spy sent to steal top secret experimental nerve gas. Scientists bent on turning me into a freak. During his attempt, a guard accidentally released the gas on Kilgrave. The gas turned him purple and somehow altered his body chemistry so that he now had the ability to make people do what he told them to. Isn't that a shitty thing to do? Say it. Yes, it is. Daredevil had been recording all that Kilgrave said, and now he had the evidence with which he could convict the villain of treason. He then jumped off the roof, taking Karen with him. When the Purple Man followed him and tried to rile the crowd against him, Daredevil covered him with sheeting so that his control power was muted. The Purple Man's origin was later expanded upon in Marvel Max's 2003's Alias. Kilgrave was an especially disturbing foe for the heroine known as Jessica Jones, forcing her to be his bodyguard and sexual slave for months. Hair and skin. The appalling sense of fashion, but that can be remedied. And underneath it, all the power. Just like me. In this run, we also learn how his powers really work. He doesn't hypnotize people as many had originally assumed. Instead, his body secretes psychoactive chemicals. Other people absorb those chemicals through smell or through their skin, and this enables him to control them. In subsequent years, it became apparent that the nerve gas had somehow affected Kilgrave on a genetic level. Several children that he fathered on unsuspecting women showed up, each with this same ability, although it varied by degree. One girl, named Kara, turned purple when she was a teenager. She simultaneously found that when she ordered someone to do something, they turned purple and did it. Kara eventually joined the mutant group Alpha Flight as Purple Girl. In 2014, Kilgrave rounded up several of his children, hoping to use them as a new force so that he could conquer the world. Unfortunately, he discovered that when his children banded together, they could control him. More than just rebellious kids, Kilgrave was no match for his own offspring. With his ability to bend the will of others to achieve virtually anything, 
The Purple Man is the ultimate puppet master. The nature of his power makes him extremely dangerous and difficult to stop. His appearances, therefore, are not as numerous as some other villains, but he makes an impression wherever he appears. There is a fantastic Sichuan place around the corner. You like Chinese. Come on. Come on. Are you a fan of the Purple Man? The most you'll ever be able to do is wiggle your finger when I'm next to you. For more comic book origins and top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You've created the perfect world, Tony. People should just sit back and enjoy it. Thank <music> you.